I'm Sebastian, and this is Mrs. Munn's class, and reading The Girl Who Loved the Wild Horses by Paul Goble. The people were always... The people were always moving from place to place, following the herds of buffalo, and they had many horses to carry the tips the teepees, their belongings, and they trained their fastest horses to hunt buffalo. Gotcha. There was a little girl in the village who loved horses. She would often get up at daybreak when the birds were singing about the rising sun. She led the horses to drink in the river. She spoke softly and they followed people. Noticed that she understood horses in a special way. She knew which grass they liked best and where to find them shelter from the winter blizzards. If a horse was hurt, she looked after it. Every day, when she helped her mother carry the water and collect firewood, she would run off to be with the horses. She stayed with them in meadows, but she carefully never would go beyond the sight of home. One hot day, when the sun was over head, she felt sleepy. She spread her blanket and lay down. It was nice to hear the horses eating and moving slowly among the flowers. Soon she fell fast asleep. A faint rumble in the distance thundered in a wake, and her angry clouds began to roll across the sky with lightning flashing in the dark. And as beneath the fresh breeze, a second of rain made her sleep. Um, suddenly there's a flash of lightning a crash and rumble which shook the earth. And the little girl leapt to her freak fright. Everything was awake. Horses were rearing up on their hind legs and snorting in terror. She grabbed the horse's mane and jumped on his back. Nay! In an instant, the herd was galloping away like a wind. She called the horses, stop! But her voice was lost in thunder. Nothing could stop them. She hugged her horses with her fingers, twisted her mane. She clung on, afraid falling under the drumming hoof. <laughs> Those horses galloped faster and faster. Pursed, pursued, pursued by the thunder. And lightning. They swept like a brown fluid across the hills and through the ground and behind. At last the storm disappeared over the horizon. The tired horses slowed and stopped and rested. Stair stairs came out in the moon. Shove hills and had never seen before. She knew that where they were lost. Next morning, she was wakened by loud neighing and beautiful spotted stallion. Next morning, she was wakened by light neighing and beautiful spotted stallion, was prancing to and fro in front of her, stamping her hooves and shaking his mane. He was strong and proud and more handsome than any horse she had ever dreamed of. She told her that handsome than any horse had dreamed of. He told her that. He was the leader of all the wild horses who roamed the hills and welcomed her to live with them. She was glad of all her horses lived their heads and neighed ghostfully to be free with the wild horses. Nay! Nay! The people searched everywhere for the little girl and, and the vanished horses, but they are nowhere to be found. But a year, but a year later, two hundred rode into the hills where the wild horses lived. When they climbed a hill and looked over the top, they saw wild horses led by the beautiful spotted stallion beside him. They rode the girls 
leaving a car. Climbing the hill and looking over the top, they wild horses led by Rudolph. With the little girl in the cold, they called out to her. She waved back, but the stallion quickly drove her away with all the horses. The hunters galloped home and told what they had seen. The men mounted their fastest horses and set out the ones. It was a long chase. The stallion defended the girl, the girl and the colt. It was a long chase. The stallion defended the right, the girl and the colt near. He tried to catch him, but with, but with ropes. But he dodged them. He was struck as fast as lightning. The riders and the mares his courage. They might never have caught the little, the girl. Explained. Her horse stumbled and she fell. Whoa! She was glad to see her parents, and they thought she would be happy to come home again. But she soon thought she was missing the colt and the wild horses. Each evening, the sun went down, and the people would hear the stallion neighing sadly from the hilltop above the village, calling for her to come back. Nay! The days passed. Her parents knew the girl was lonely to be became ill and the doctors couldn't do nothing to help her. He asked what would make her feel better again. I left her room with the wild horses. She answered, they are my relatives. If you go get me, go back to them. All should be happy forevermore. Her parents loved her and agreed that she would go back to live with the horses. They gave a beautiful dress to the best horse in the village to ride. The spotted stallion led his wild horses from the hills. The people were at decorated, decorated saddles and they painted and they painted the signs the signs the signs on their bodies and bodies, eagle feathers, and ribbons on their manes and tails. In return, the girl had a cold to her parents. Everyone was joyful. Yay! <coughs> Once again, the girl rode beside the spotted stallion. They were proud and happy together, but she did not forget her people. Each year, she would come back. Always brought her parents a cold. Cultivated horse. And then one year she did not return and was never seen again. But when the hunters saw next wild horses, they galloped beside the wispy clouds about her. They said the girl had surely become one of the wild horses at last. Today we're still glad to remember that have relatives of them um, free. Our thoughts fly with them. This book is The Girl Who Loved Wild Horses. And what I liked about the book is when she turned into a horse. And I don't know how she turned into a horse, but that was quite weird. And maybe it's because um, she loved horses so much. And maybe, and maybe if I love cheetahs so much, I'll turn into a cheetah or a peregrine falcon. Maybe the, the cheetah is slower than a peregrine falcon. And, and, um, she turned into a horse because she liked them so much. And, and that's why, um, she, and I don't know why she liked horses. And so she fell asleep like, and on, on her blanket, and the lightning started like, and and then um, and then and then um, she awoke like, and then um, she grabbed onto a horse and 
they all galloped away like. And she told the soft world they were galloping, but it was carried off inside the lightning. And then they came far away, and the horses stopped. And the horses stopped, and she knew she was far off from home. And they killed buffalo. And they killed buffalo because that's the only thing they could eat. And there's lots of people to kill them. And there was a whole bunch of buffalo. And and um, there's they got so many because there um there were so many people that they could eat a whole buffalo and a, and a couple more. Bye.